Hello friends, my name is Ritu Sachdev and today here I am going to show you that how with the help of CSS3 property we can create multiple columns in our document like we have in newspapers. Friends here I have already opened up Adobe Dreamweaver CS6. Now let me open an HTML document. Let me first give title to my document say multi column layout. Let me save up my document first. Multi column layout. Let's insert a div. Say div id container. Let me close this div. Now let me have some lorem ipsum. Let me open any lorem ipsum generator site. Let me copy this text to clipboard. Let me paste this code now here. Let me save up my document. Now let's preview our document. See now our document looks like this. Now I want to have multiple columns in this document. So I want to divide it in few columns. So let's have our CSS3 property. Let me go to head section. Here I am using internal style sheet for the document. Let me close the style tab. Now div container. Let's have CSS for it. column count 3. Let me save up the document and let's reload our page. See here, nothing changed as it's a CSS3 property so I, I must have to add a prefix inside it. Let me have webkit for Chrome and Safari. Again column count 3. Now let me also have it for Mozilla Firefox. Now let's save up our document and let's reload our page. See now, our text is now distributed in three columns. As we have specified column count to be 3. Now, what if I want to increase the gap between these columns? As this is having some default gap in between. Say I want to increase it more. So let's have another CSS3 property for the column. Column gap 50 pixels. Let me again add prefix webkit. Let me copy this text. Let me paste it over here. Let me have prefix for Firefox. Let me paste it again. Now let's save up our document. Let's reload it. See the moment I reloaded my page. The gap between the columns has been increased. Now, what if I want to have a rule between these columns? That is a line between them. So let's have it. Let's go to our CSS property. Let's have it. Column rule. Let the rule be 
for the x let it be outset and let the color be so i pick red let's again add a word to fix bracket for safari and chrome let me copy column rule and paste it over here let me have to fix for firefox let me paste again now let's reload our page see now the moment i reloaded my page we have red line between them or a red rule between them now what if i want to increase the width of this columns let's go to our css let's remove all this css property let me have column width now so width i want to be 50 pixels let me again add my prefix say webkit let me copy this css property let me paste it over here let me have again prefix for mozilla firefox so let's save up our document now let's reload our page now see now what happens it has adjusted number of columns according to the width we have given 50 pixels now let's increase width of our column so let's have 400 pixels to be the width let me have 400 from everywhere let's save up our document Let's reload our page. See now. The moment I reloaded, we have three columns now. As I have given the width of four hundred pixels, so according to four hundred pixels, it has distributed itself in three columns. So this is how we create multiple column layout for our document. So this is done, friends. And if you want to learn these subjects directly from me, do contact me. Do subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.